we're going to do something today called Big Dick History, the quiz. Are you oh, ready? Okay. Yep. Okay. Just buzz in by yelling your name if you know the answer. Okay. Number one, what historical figures Swang and Wang was described by a Time Magazine journalist in 1927 as a, quote, maltreated strip of buckskin shoelace? Wait a minute. Can I hear the question again? <laughs> sure. What historical figures Swang and Wang was described by a Time Magazine journalist in 1927 as a maltreated strip of buckskin shoelace? Oh my God. Is it Rasputin, Napoleon, Prince Albert, or Vladimir Lenin? Oh, uh, it would be- I'm gonna say Sona. Yes, Sona? Lenin. Incorrect. I'm going to say Napoleon. Napoleon is correct. God damn yeah. it. All right, one point. They, uh, they actually claim to have Napoleon's penis. So That's right. The others it's... would not be available for inspection, whereas I think Napoleon's would be. My understanding is it's actually at like a bookseller's. Keep in mind, a lot of this research is rumor-based, but for our purposes, who cares? Uh, you know, it's not only owned Napoleon's penis by a bookseller. Did you know this? It's used as a bookmark. It's a, when shoe, it's a shoelace. Yeah, that yeah. explains this a guy, lot. Yeah, when this guy's reading Fifty Shades of Grey and he gets to a, he's tired and he wants to just turn in for the night, he puts Napoleon's penis uh, into the book and shuts it. Oh yeah, after he uses it to floss his teeth. Okay, oh, next question. What did, oh, what did you Gourley. do? Gourley, what did you do? Come on. Yeah. How You're, can you go too far on happening? big dick history? Yes. Well, you know what? You can and you just did. Yeah, you, know? you did. It's an achievement. Yeah. Using a dick as floss. I think that's where we draw the line for big dick history. Well, we had to find it. 